Have you ever wondered why some apps feel effortless to use while others leave you frustrated and confused? The difference often lies in how deeply the creators understood their users. And that's exactly where the UX research comes into the picture. UX or user research for long is the practice of studying users to uncover their needs, behaviors, motivations and pain points when interacting with the product or service. It moves beyond assumptions and personal opinions relying instead on real insights gathered through methods like interviews, surveys, usability testing and analytics. By doing so, it ensures that design decisions are grounded in evidence, not just guesswork. The importance of UX research cannot be overstated. Products built without UX research are risking by missing the mark, leading to wasted resources, low adoption and poor customer satisfaction. On the other hand, when UX research is integrated into the design and development process, it helps teams identify user problems early, test ideas effectively and validate solutions before the launch. This not only reduces development costs, but also increases the chances of creating products that people genuinely enjoy using. Beyond functionality, UX research adds value by shaping experiences that are intuitive, inclusive, and emotionally engaging. It fosters loyalty, enhances trust, and gives organizations a competitive edge in today's crowded digital landscape. Whether it's a website, mobile app, or an enterprise tool, UX research ensures that the products are designed with users, not just for them. In a sense, UX research is a bridge between users and the design teams. It transforms raw data into meaningful insights that guide innovation and decision making. By keeping people at the center, UX research turns ideas into solutions that are not only usable, but truly impactful. In this video, we will uncover what is UX research, definition and importance in creating user-centered designs, UX research methods and approaches, qualitative, quantitative, and both mixed methods. What does a UX researcher do? Roles and responsibilities and collaboration, essential UX skills and tools, key skills and commonly used research tools. What are the benefits of UX research? Value for users, business and products, and how to become a UX researcher? career path, skills, and growth opportunities. Before we commence, Simply Learn in collaboration with IIITB has curated a rich practical first learning pedagogy that helps you master the essential design skills like design thinking, UX research, wireframing, prototyping, micro interactions, HCI, AR, VR, project handoff, and more aimed at making you job ready. This advanced certification in UI UX design course gives you a complete learning experience with 100% live virtual classes, 75 plus assignments, case studies, discussions, and hands-on projects. Gain expertise in 25 plus design tools, including 10 plus Gen AI tools. Key features get professionally certified in UI UX with a program completion certificate from IIITB or IIIT Bangalore gain hands on experience in 25 plus UI UX designs like Figma, Miro, Maze, UI Zart, and many more. Live masterclasses from the top faculty of IIIT Bangalore and top design experts across multiple industries working with a collection of 75 plus course-wide activities, discussions, case studies, and a lot more. Learn about human-computer interaction and build your AR, VR, and XR prototypes Get end-to-end -end project support via live mentorships led by doubt-solving sessions. Take your portfolio global with Behance and Ribble. Learn to use 10-plus generative AI-powered design tools to streamline the design process. Experience hands-on practical learning via module and projects. And a final capstone project, eight times higher engagement in live online classes by Simply Learn's expert instructors. Simply Learn's job assist helps you get noticed by top hiring companies, 25 plus skills uncovered by UX design and UI design thinking, principal prototyping, user-centered design persona mapping, empathy mapping, heuristics evaluation, low fidelity wireframing, high fidelity wireframing, micro interactions, human computer interactions or HCI, etc. Ready to build your future? 
enroll now and take your first step towards becoming a UI UX designer. So before that, let's have a small multiple choice question or a quiz. What does UI stand for in web design? Your options are user interaction, user interface, universal interface, user impact. Don't forget to give your answer in the comment section below. Before we move forward, I request you guys do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates from Simply Learn. So let's get started. What is UX research? UX research is a technical pathway or an approach adapted to deeply understand the user's demands whenever they utilize any system, product, or service. UX research is a pattern of studying the user's attachment to any product or service and constantly upgrading the same for better usage. UX research entails understanding users. The core goal is to understand who the users are, what they want to achieve, and problems they face while interacting with the product or service. Informing design. The insights gathered from research are used to guide design decisions, helping to create products that are functional, easy to use, and satisfying. User-centered approach. UX research promotes a continuous process of learning about users throughout the product life cycle to build products that truly meet their needs and expectations. UX research methods and approaches. As UX research relies on understanding the user's mentality towards a product or a service, multiple methods and approaches have been adopted to gain the best output of the research. Here, let us dig through various research methods for a logically successful analysis. A quantitative research method. As the name itself suggests, quantitative research methods depend on the quantity of data being used. Quantitative research involves collecting and analyzing the mass of data numbers and statistical values obtained through user tests. The quantitative method is applied in most cases to interpret the range of feasibility of the product or service. This method also helps to identify how much of a product stays compared to its competitive products. The quantitative method itself is further classified into various strategies as follows. First, analytics. Analytics is a quantitative approach that deals with data collection, like the number of visits by a user, to a website, duration on a website, word scrolling down, etc. The best known analytics platform is Google Analytics. From this information, the UX researchers can conclude the trafficking of a site, trends of any product, etc. Now, let us discuss the second one, mouse mapping. The mouse mapping technique is a methodology where the user's actions on a particular website can be mapped to identify the valuable and futile products of a website. The movement of the user will explain the paths that are being ignored and being great activity, which will help the UX researchers to finalize the usability of a particular website. Third one is funnel analysis. Funnel analysis will help UX researchers to identify the range up to which the user can access a website. It shows how many users happen to cross through the steps in a website to get something done. Analyzing the data from a form to funnel shaped plot starting from the first point board and narrowing down to the final point. Now, the fourth one, user testing. User testing is a more direct approach where the users are directly involved in giving the feedback about a product or a service. Much user feedback is collected and the data is processed to identify the part of the defect, if any. It will help UX researchers to develop any product to its better end. Now, let's discuss the second type of research method. It is Qualitative research methods. Qualitative research methods are antagonist in technique to quantitative research methods. In qualitative research, the information collected is non-numerical, like comments, opinions, behavioral patterns, etc. This research method focuses more on understanding every individual user rather than concentrating on a group of users. There are again multiple qualitative approaches, and here are a few. So, the first one. Grounded theory approach. The grounded theory is an approach where the view is hypothesized after examining the non-numerical data obtained from the users, such as opinions, comments, or whatever. The grounded theory approach will work by plotting out the user's thinking through their feedback. Second one is card sorting. Card sorting is another relatively simple technique. The users are provided with a set of cards that involve specific topics or concepts or categories and asked to sort them out based on their opinion. The order of sorting will reveal the order of experience the user expects from a particular product. 
Hence, it will help the UX researcher develop a module that satisfies the user expectations. The third one is surveys. Surveys are widespread type of qualitative approach and surveys will help understand the idea of the user precisely in their own words or comments. Surveys gather users' expectations in the form of data and UX researchers can process this data to design a better user-friendly product. Now the fourth one, which is interviews. Interviews are much better qualitative approach because the users are individually assessed. The data obtained through interviews are very reliable as they don't have any error opinions. Now, what does a UX researcher do? UX researcher hold many roles and responsibilities and UX researchers are expected to have specific skills and knowledge. Here are the tasks of UX researchers. Tasks and responsibilities of UX researchers are as follows. Collect data for research. Design approach to collect data. Reach out to the users for data collection. Analyze the data recruited. Develop insights out of the data. Devise plans for product development with the research output. A UX researcher is responsible for understanding users' behaviors, needs, and motivations using a variety of research methods. This position entails conducting interviews, surveys, usability tests, and analyzing users' data to help inform and guide design decisions. Now, let's discuss essential UX design skills. First one, analyzing skills. The first and the foremost part of being a UX researcher is analyzing the data provided. So, analysis skills are essential for a UX researcher, and they must be able to interpret the data thoroughly. Second one. Empathizing skills. The UX researcher must empathize to understand the user's feelings and behavior and be able to put themselves in the user's shoes to get a clear view of the data collected from the user. The third one, passion. Passion is very essential for this job because only with passion will the researcher be able to get deep into the user's point of view. Passion for this job will help the researcher to develop unique techniques to understand the user's mentality. Now, the fourth one ideating skill. The UX researcher must be outstanding in creating new ideas and techniques. This is very essential in this job as it will help to make clear picture of the user's data. Fifth one is team playing skill. A UX researcher needs to be a team player and this is because it will enable them to take inputs from another researcher and implement them to get accurate results. How to become a UX researcher? Get a degree in human or behavioral science as UX researcher is closely related to understanding the user's behavior, feelings, expectations, and etc. It is desirable to get a degree related to human or behavioral science, say psychology, biology, physiology, artificial intelligence, develop user researcher skills. User researcher, as explained earlier, requires many skills. Some of the skills listed here will help you become a UX researcher learn from conducting surveys, have hands-on trainings about the Google Analytics, engage in UX research programs, practice using data analysis tools like MATLAB, Simulink, etc. Followed by that, the next point is gain UX or user research experience. It is significantly necessary to gain UX research experience and this can be done by involving in surveys conducted by other UX platforms. Joining the team of any non-profitable organization and conducting research is your key point. Participate in any UX research contest available online. Develop your portfolio. Once you cross through the above three steps, creating an innovative portfolio that impresses recruiters is time. List the skills you possess to be a UX researcher. Include the projects that come to terms with UX research. Register your portfolio on various websites like Upwork, Fiverr, LinkedIn, and so on. Grow your network and finally, it is crucial to expand your circle. Try coming in contact with people in the UX research profession. This can be done via LinkedIn and many more platforms. Networking will help you improve and reach out to a good position. Adding to these steps, enrolling in a comprehensive UI UX design course can significantly boost your understanding and skills in both UI and UX design, providing a well-rounded foundation for a career in UX research. Now, we have come to an end of this session on UX research. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources that we have used in this session, like the PowerPoint presentation or anything else, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below, and our team of experts will be happy to assist you at the earliest. Until next time, 
Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.